more detail. Okay, welcome to American Dream Garage. Uh, today I'm going to do a video on uh, really the second oldest car that I've owned. It's the second car that I bought uh, when I started collecting, probably back in 2003. It's a 1972 BMW 3.0 CS Coupe. I'm not aware that there's any videos out there. I know there wouldn't be because um, this car has been in under some form of restoration probably for the last eight years and for no good reasons uh, there were several very long delays or pauses in that restoration it wasn't until I got it out here to the new shop uh, where I have better equipment that I've been able to advance it but even at that uh, other things have come up and uh, this car, uh, primarily because of some rust issues that I found, um, has been stalled probably for the last 10 months. So my objective here in the winter is to get this car moving and to get it done. So I will show you, uh, I'll try to find some pictures of the car. I'm not sure how many I actually have. Um, and I can take some videos of it uh, up on the lift. Obviously can't get it out and drive it around, but I will show you where it sits and what is yet to be done on the car. And then um, probably do one more update uh, when I attack some of the major issues. And then ultimately when we get it done, obviously we can do a, a total review and test drive on the car. So let's take a look at it. Okay, we'll start with the front and uh, these initial parts, the, uh, the engine support mount and these A-arms all, were all removed and powder coated. I've got new engine mounts uh, put in the car, um, all new uh, ball joints. New bushings, um, really everywhere, new bushings. And I have uh, treated the window or the, the uh, wheel wells uh, with uh, rust proofing. Um, I'm unsure how much I'll do further than that. Um, then we get, as we move down the car, we can see some of the issues that I'm concerned about and which really is the reason why it stopped and I'll try to bring my light over here these um, this was originally the uh, what what would call the, the floor plug and the floor plug sat in there but it it, it appeared to me to be a little bit of a, a bad design because it would retain moisture and this I've tried to cut some of this out already it basically rusted around that plug on the floor the rest of the floor is fine we have some issues up here in front in the what would be the footwell and then the front uh, pant or plug is also uh, needs some work on this side uh, while it's taken a few shots, it seems to be pretty solid. Uh, it doesn't have any real corrosion around that plug, so I can get a replacement plug. I do have both front and rear floor pans here. And to be honest, I have delayed a little bit because I'm doing some research and also doing some learning on welding techniques to be able to take care of that so that's the main part that i want to tackle if we move back to the back you can see that for the most part the rear suspension 
is done. Again, all the parts were removed, powder coated, uh, even dropped the rear differential, uh, new individual uh, drive uh, shafts and covers, uh, all new bolts, because those got quite corroded, new shocks in the rear, uh, the brakes, I've yet to put those on, uh, redid the springs, redid the, the rotors. I've got new calipers for the car, uh, I think all the way around. And uh, all of the parts, I won't say all of them, a lot of the parts are here and the, the front shock towers have been uh, redone and powder coated. Um, front springs have been redone and powder coated. Um, I've redone the manifolds. And then if you, if we had it down, you can see that I pulled the, pulled the carburation off of it. So uh, I wanna make sure those carburetors are redone because this car has not run in, in probably eight years. So really that's where it stands. Um, I would say reassembling the suspension, brakes, etc. Probably less than two days. But when I get to this rust repair, that's where it becomes a little uh, less certain for me. So I will, I will drop the car down and so you can see, get a better look at it. Obviously it's dirty and dusty. This car has been... Okay, as I mentioned, I've dropped it down so... Uh, you can take a look at the car. So obviously it's dusty. Uh, that's probably eight years worth of dust. Uh, hopefully you can also see that the paint is good on the car. Um, the other than some uh, tear down underneath the dash, the interior it's pretty solid. It's a sunroof car, four-speed car. Um, so uh, part of the reason that I'm doing what I'm doing to it is the potential value of the car. Uh, so anyway, that's what it looks like. I feel bad that it's gotten this dirty, but once you get a little bit of dust on it, the only way to get it off is to wash it and I really don't want to touch it because I don't want to scratch the paint and it'll spray off so you can see hopefully see the condition of the car. Mm -hmm.